Hello, this is Shiley from Sheepishly Made and MCS Livestock, and this is the bunny felting tutorial. So to start off, we're going to start with some core wool and roll it up kind of like you're rolling a cylinder, but you want to add more wool on one end than the other. You want to roll up the wool really tightly wound around to make kind of a uh, rounded triangle shape or a cone. And then we're going to start felting all over the object. I'm using a 36 triangle needle here. It's a nice coarse felting needle. I'm tagging everything down and felting it all over to make a dense and hard core. You can see here the cone shape. The trick is for the core shapes is to wound them very tightly when you're uh, winding the core roving. And now we're going to work on making the head of the rabbit. So the head is um, kind of like an oval shape. It's an oblong circle. So you just want to wrap a little bit of wool real tightly and you can measure it up against your head. So measure the head against the body here and then you can start felting once you have the appropriate size. <clears throat> Now you want the back of the head to be a little bit bigger than the front. So as you're felting, you can felt the back um, down more towards the front. And the front of the head where the nose is, you kind of want to come to a point, but not exactly. You want it to be rounded. And then we're going to work on the detail where the nose is. So here in the close-up picture, you can see we, we're going to be felting in where the black lines are on the nose. So you just want to felt down and in to the center of the head and just continuously felt until it makes the lines. And now we're going to uh, make the ears for the rabbit. So you want to take a little bit of your brown wool here and just fold a little bit on top of each other. Um, leave a little tail at the end on the base of the ear and you're just going to felt this flat. So the trick is here is to felt very lightly just through the wool and not into your mat. You don't want it sticking into your mat so pull it up and off your mat a lot. And you just want it to be about maybe an eighth of an inch thick. So you just felt it flat on your mat here at first into the shape of an ear. I'm holding it up to check the size. And then you can also felt um, in from the side on the edges of the ear if you hold it between your fingers. And then go ahead and make a second ear. Once you have the second ear completed, you can hold them together on the back of the head and then just felt down on the base of the ear where you left that tail. I'm going to felt the tail down and through the base of the ears into the head. And again, if you want them to turn certain ways, you can felt on one side of the ears or the other, and that'll help pull it in one direction. And then if you want them to turn in towards each other, like the edges of each single ear turning in, so it kind of gives a little bit of a fold, you will just felt from the side of each ear, kind of in a little bit. And then we're going to add some brown wool to the head. So you want to add the brown wool 
all over the head besides where you made um, the nose and the mouth area leave a little circle of that um, uncovered with just the white so just use a little bit of brown wool at a time and wrap it around the head and then felt it down I'm still using my 36 triangle needle here So keep adding the brown wool until the head is covered besides that circle around the mouth and the nose. You want to make sure you don't see through to the white underneath. And then we're going to add a little bit of pink to the nose. So I actually took some of my lighter pink color and blended it with my white. And I just do that by laying the colors on top of each other and then pulling them apart repeatedly until they're blended. And then the top triangle there is where the nose is on your rabbit. And you just want to add a very small amount of the pink to the nose area. And then we're going to take a little bit of black and make those lines that we saw in the earlier picture. So that should be just in the little crevices you made with your felting needles. Here you can see it a little bit be better where they're actually at here on your rabbit. And so we took the brown wool just to the top of the nose there and then around the mouth. So the black lines underneath the nose and in the mouth creases there. Use a little bit at a time. You can use your finer felting needles here if you prefer as well. And then we're going to make the eyes. So I'm just using um, black and white wool to make the eyes. So you want to take a little bit of black and we're going to make the eye shape, kind of like the eye shape um, of a human we're going to do for this one. So where you have the two pointed sides on the left and the right side and then the top and bottom are rounded. Just check that you're making them about the same size. They should be a little bit smaller than the size of your nose. And about in the middle of the head, going from front to back. And then we're going to line the outside edge of the eyes with some white, just a really small amount of white wool. I like to use my 40 spiral needle, your finer felty needle here. And I'm just lining the outside edge with some white. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. A little bit of white. And we're going to go around the edges of the eye here. And after you line the edges of the eye, then we're going to make our little reflection in the eye to give it lifelike. So you want to take a little bit of white and just ball it up in between your fingers. And then you add it to the eye. You want to make sure it's quite smaller than the rest of the eye. Um, I usually use it, put it in the back right corner of the eye. Do the same thing on both sides. And your eyes are done. Now we're going to attach the head to the body here. So you want to take the head and hold it against the body and then take your needle and push it up th through through um, the top of the body into the head. It's usually the best way to do it. You can um, lay it down, sit it on top of the head and just keep doing that all the way around the edges of the head through the body and into the head there. So it'd be like through the neck into the base of the head and make sure it's secure by tugging on it a little bit. <clears throat> and then we'll be adding the brown wool to the body. So we're just going to add a little bit of brown wool here at the bottom. So you want it to go around the back of your bunny and then dip down in the front and kind of scoop into the belly where the legs are going to be. Um, I pulled out my multi-needle felting tool here to help me felt a little bit faster. It holds seven needles, but I only use four in this one. 
And this is a good time to make sure that the bottom of your rabbit is also flat so it will sit up when you put it on the table. So if you want to check and make sure your rabbit will sit up, just set it on the table and you can felt the bottom more flat. And after you get your brown added, see it's not much on the front, but it goes around the back here underneath where the jacket is. And then I'm going to add some white wool to the front of the rabbit. Now, if your core wool is very white, you don't need to do this. Um, I do this for my core wool when it's a little bit um, off-white or yellowish tinge. So I'm just using a little bit of white and coming down in a teardrop shape on the front <clears throat> of our rabbit. And I'm using my multi-needle tool again just to felt that down a little bit better. And now we're going to start to add our little jacket to the rabbit. So we're going to bring it down from the neck in a straight line down almost to the bottom of the belly and then we're going to take it all the way around the back side of the rabbit so you're going to use quite a bit of pink wool here i used a lighter pink for this one you can use any colors you want i'm um, just keep adding going around the edges just go around the whole back side of the rabbit leaving about a half inch to three quarters of an inch from the bottom of your rabbit to the bottom of the jacket there. Now we're going to make the arms. So you want to take a little bit of your white wool and you want to very tightly wrap it into a cylinder. <clears throat> so you want to wrap it as tight as you can to get it more dense. And then you can start felting it. Just lay it flat on your mat and just felt it and turn it and felt it continuously until it's um, very dense and you can't squish it very much. And you can hold it up to the rabbit to check the size. You want it to come wrap around the front to be able to hold that heart. And once you made one, make another one. They are about two, two and a half inches long. And then I'm going to wrap a little pink wool around the arm, uh, leaving a little bit of the white exposed at the end for its um, paw. I'm just going to felt this pink wool on the arm. You want to use enough that you don't see through to the white, but not too much to make the arm really, really big. So just use a little bit at a time at this point. And once you have one arm done, then you can move on to the next one and finish both arms. And then we're going to start felting them to the body. So you want to put it so the shoulder is kind of um, down from the middle of the head on both sides, mid to the back of the head. And you're just going to felt in through that um, arm into the rabbit, into the core body. So we're just going to felt that down first. Enough so when you tug on it, it doesn't come off. You want it nice and secure. And then I'm going to take some of the pink wool and lay it over that shoulder there and felt that all down. It'll blend the arm there into the body of the rabbit. So do a little bit at a time and add enough so that when you run your hand across it um, down the arm that there's not a big bump when you hit the arm. You want it to be nice and smooth down into the arm. So add a little bit of wool at a time 
You're going to do this on both sides. And you want to lay your wool, you want a longer piece, so you blend it in with the rest of the body. So you want it to go from the top of the neck there over the arm where you felted it in and down into the jacket. Now, after your jacket's complete, then we can move on to make the feet. So you want to roll up a little bit of your brown wool tightly into a small oval shape. You can measure them up against the body to see how big you want them to be. And you can make two of them. Um, I usually hold the smaller pieces in between my fingers and felt carefully with the needle make sure not to stab myself or roll it around on the mat they're kind of um, the shape of a bean once you have the two of them then you can hold them onto the bottom of your rabbit and felt through the foot and into the body and you just want to do this um, on the very front of the bottom of the rabbit and then you can set it down on the table to see if it'll stand up um, felt it down more if it's wanting to fall over backwards but then we're also going to make a tail so we're going to do the same thing we're going to roll up the brown and this time into a little ball and felt it now this tail will help support the back of the rabbit as well. I'm just going to make a little ball of the brown and then take a little bit of white and add it to one side for the underside of the tail. And then we're going to felt it onto the rabbit. Doing the same thing, we're just going to hold it against um, the very bottom of the body here and felt in the base of the tail. And now we're going to move on to making the scarf. So the scarf, I use a little bit of purple wool and just laid it out flat to a long piece of wool. Kind of doing the same thing we did as when we made the ears, as we just felt it flat and pull it up, flip it over a lot, just felting lightly. I'm actually not pushing down very hard um, into the purple wool here, but just continuously um, pick it up, flip it over, felt lightly until it's, until it's a nice flat piece. I'm just checking it here. And then I'm going to fold over my end a little bit so it's not so wispy and finish felting the scarf. And then you can wrap it around how you want it and just felt it down. You can felt it down all around the scarf. Just into the body a little bit. And then we're going to make our little heart that the bunny's holding. So I'm using this dark pink wool. I'm doing the same thing. I'm felting it flat on the mat first. So I'm just kind of laying the wool out and then felting it down into the shape of a heart and using my needle to shape it. And you want it to be kind of thick, maybe like a quarter of an inch, and then you can pick it up and flip it over. And if you need to add more wool, if it's too thin, if you can see through it, add a little bit more wool. And just felt lightly so your needle doesn't go into your mat very far. Then you can also hold it between your fingers and use your needle to push in through the side there to make the points a little bit better. 
especially the top where it comes in. And when you're satisfied, you can have your little rabbit hole it, put it in its hands, and then you can felt through the little paws there, felt them together and into the heart and through the body. And that's it. Your little rabbit is complete. Now, if you have any questions, you can um, comment on the video here below. You can email me. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. You can find more info in the credits. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and happy felting.